boom boom this is Ken everybody welcome back to the channel all right we got a little bit of Azure lane up today so uh, this event is pretty much done uh, from my perspective I mean I still have to finish the actual um, event I, I gotta back up d3 d2 and d3 today and start working on the SP uh, but in terms of actually getting all the ships everything's are already been taken care of I, I got uh, pretty good luck we got a Domino uh, we got Jervis uh, we got Vanguard, we got Revenge, and we got Bellana. So everybody, uh, everything we need to uh, get, we need to do, uh, you just need to obtain Vanguard, okay? So you don't need to actually um, do the limit break for her, but you, of course, do want to. Uh, so the actual breaks in terms of what we need to do, if you go into your missions uh, and take a look at the event, is you will see that we need to Jervis Indomitable Revenge and... Balana, which I do have all of them. Uh, so I will be able to com uh, complete this event. All of them are right now are uh, relaxing in the dorm, soaking up some XP so that we'll be able to get them to 70 uh, and start uh, limit breaking them. I've already got the mats to do it. So as you can see, we're pretty much closing in. I just got Balana yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Uh, was the, uh, I got her. So um, I'll just start working on her right now. I'll stick her in the dorm as well, too. Uh, and then we'll work on getting her up as well. Uh, so in terms, you know, um, uh, the event was, uh, the story was, it was good. Uh, I did like the story, but it was not, it was not as good as uh, the, uh, the previous uh, call to Arm for the Iron Blood. That was just an awesome, totally tremendous. But I, I think that's my favorite uh event ever uh just in terms of the story you mean uh, from the story not necessarily the ships and stuff well the ships were okay uh but that story was just uh it's gonna take really 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 difficult to top that story uh in, in terms of just you know uh it had the 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 whole everything that you need to make it exciting uh so but this was a good story uh they managed to get in there get what they needed to get uh, so the mission was a success. Um, it, it didn't start off as well thought. It turns out that Monarch actually, uh, you know, caused the whole thing by entering the mirror, entering Camelot, as they call it, uh, of her own accord. Uh, feel, you know, she felt like she wasn't, you know, she's a blueprint ship. She, she has not actually had uh, any, any real battle experience or anything like that. So she was feeling a little, I don't know, a little uh, unused, left out. Um, so she wanted to, you know, uh, go out in a place of glory, so to speak. So she uh, went in there looking for the, the cure herself. Uh, they did find the cure. They did find some meta ships, um, uh, and brought them back, Repulse and Renown. Uh, and she gave them information on the metamorphosis, uh, which is what is affecting Hood. Uh, and they were able to, uh, uh, from them, uh, develop uh, at least a treatment as it seems like it's going to be a cure. I think she's they technically said that she was cured. She was still weak, but she uh, they've halted uh, the problems and they've it seemed to restore everything. So it's more or less that she's been cured. Uh, so they were able to get the, the information needed. Uh, we had another uh, encounter with Bonham, Monsieur Bonham, which said the obviously uh, the quote um, error in the system. <laughs> Who uh, apparently even as the actual um, sirens a little bit uh, in a quandary as to what to do about her, uh, but her power is just over the top. So that's where we're at with that. Um, but yeah, it was a good story, very exciting. Uh, so get in there, finish it out. Um, you should be you should be in good shape right now. Um, so we'll be able to complete the actual uh, event. So we did complete the. Uh, Event to get Belana. You just needed to get 10,000. As you can see, I'm already at 12,000. Uh, Splitters, this is new. This just popped up today. It's going to be a, a chance to get an outfit, limited to outfit for Lamars. So you definitely want to take part in that. Uh, Chessar is available today. We're halfway through the event, so um, you should be able to get her. I did get her today. So she's no longer an NPC. She's now the actual character. Uh, you replace the NPC with the real character uh, today. When she, when she get, you have to get 10,000, but she can have it at 12,800. Uh, so you get these cookies through the emissions. That's why I'm so high. <laughs> so you, you just it, you really, really do not have to try <laughs> to get her, as you can see. But you have uh, 
uh, you have another 15 days to get, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, got this today. Uh, I still have not decided what I'm going to do with this. Um, you get this by playing in the uh, the Wacka, Wacka Ship Girl event. Um, this was up to Seasonal Crew. We do got a Seasonal Cruise mission up. Going to be gone on until the 31st. It started today. Uh, and will end the 31st. Um, you will have a chance to get um, a meta ship, as always, from within this. Uh, at the completion of the event. So, and you'll be able to get copies of uh, the thing, as well as an exclusive skin. If you do purchase the Fair Winds, you'll be able to get the skin uh, for Akashi. Uh, but we're actually getting uh, Memphis uh, is the new beta ship. Uh, and then if you scroll on down here, you'll be able to see the actual uh, skin that you're going to get for Akashi. Uh, Cirque de Ninju Cirque de Ninjutsu <laughs> is the costume. Okay, so um, it's going to make her look completely different, <laughs> I have to say, from that perspective. But you do get that if you purchase the Fair Wind Rewards Package, which is, uh, I think it's nine ninety nine is what it does cost to actually uh, uh, get that, if you want to get the outfit. But you do get the ship within that, so uh, Memphis is the actual ship. Um, uh, so in terms of that, uh, we've also got the Rally Request. You should be doing this, as you can see, I'm already on Phase 8. Uh, this is going to be going on. Uh, until the 15th so again another two weeks for this so you got plenty of time in terms of some of this stuff uh, the login bonus uh, today day seven and you get the blueprints okay uh, so that's going to end the blueprint reward uh, call to arms this is the previous event uh, and the completion plan for Drake you should have completed that as well so everything's moving along so we just got the new event for skin for the Mars as you know as well as to finish up the event uh, inside the shop, you do want to be purchasing uh, this uh, a piece uh, equipment right here. This is a fire control table, so you're going to need to get quite a bit. As you can see, I'm uh, well behind on where I need to be with my star of loyalties. So, uh, but I haven't done today's events yet. Uh, so by the end of the day, I should well be close to 20,000 uh, because today's the first day I'm actually going to have a chance to sit down and actually focus on it uh, for more than a couple hours. I'm probably going to hit about four or five hours today. Uh, I'll be hitting with my tablet as well too. So. Um, uh, now that you know the Memorial Day weekend is over uh, and everything has calmed down, you know it, it, it's difficult to do those things over the weekend. You know, there's just too much going on. I mean, uh, you know, uh, had company. <laughs> you, you know how it is. Then over the weekend, and plus the graduations. A lot of people are graduating here in the states, so there's been a lot of parties and whatnot uh, that we've had to attend for that. Uh, so that stuff's pretty much all cleared away now. Uh, the the uh, it, the relatives have left so today they left yesterday so today is actually uh, going to be you know the first day I've had to really get in there and bop things uh, apart uh, so we'll um, uh, start getting caught up because you do want to get about 50,000 because 10,000 10,000 is expensive um, that's for these equipment uh, you want to do that because you might need I don't need to I got Jervis okay so I it's not important uh, that I get 50,000 I will be able to do it in 40 for myself 30 between 35 and 40 should be fine for me because I don't need to spend 8,000 on Jervis but if you need to get both Jervis and this ad the fire control table that's 18,000 okay um, so you're gonna need to get close between yeah you're gonna need to get the upper 40s maybe 50,000 just to be on the safe side if you do need to boost just both of these um, so just keep that in mind uh, everything else is pretty much standard but yeah uh, you know if you're good you know so you want to walk away between 30 you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try to shoot for 40 between 35 and 40 and that'll be able to me to get everything that I need uh, without any problem but if you do need to get Jarvis you're gonna have to add that in there as well too uh, but Jarvis so uh, keep that in mind uh, but yeah so yeah uh, it's a good event gonna keep through and I'll finish it up today and start working on the SP and the EX and stuff um, where you can get a lot of stuff so I'll be able to do that for seven days uh, until the primary part of the event ends but it, it, it it's uh you know it was good it was good <laughs> I do you know enjoy it uh, so uh, everything you know uh, I think it's going to be an excellent excellent uh, uh, ship I think she's going to be really good we're going to take a look at her once you get the stats up 
uh, but she does have a pretty good she does have a pretty good skill set uh, an excellent addition she's not a new ship uh, she apparently was just on uh, scapa flow guard duty is where she was currently stationed at um, so when this ship finishes loading your guns 50% uh, chance that's dynamic to fire level one barrage okay damage is based on the skills and increased uh, increases the, your BBC BBC damage dealt by 3.5. This is what's giving her a flagship uh, uh, positioning. Uh, reload by 10 seconds during battle. Two seconds after the response. Increases the enemy's damage taken from your ships by one. Wh while this ship is afloat, when a fleet this ship's not in starts a battle, you get another buff. So we've got cross increases the firepower uh, by 1% for all Royal Navy ships in that Vanguard fleet. Okay, so it, you see that she's got some cross, uh, cross sortie capability as well. And then behold, my Royal Saber. Uh, when the battle starts, if there is at least one other Royal Navy ship in your fleet, it decreases all your Royal Navy ships' damage taken from aircraft by, it's just probably going to go up to 10%. Uh, this puts her in an excellent position to be uh, a level 13 ship because you get a lot of anti-air inside of that. So this is going to decrease your um, damage taken from aircraft. Uh, so it, you know, it can put her in a position where she might be. We'll have to test it out to see how effective it can be. Uh, but it is an interesting skill set, which is why I'm saying that she has a chance to be one of the best UR ships that they put out. We'll just have to see how it plays out. Uh, but she's definitely flagship material. Okay, um, I really don't particularly don't want to not to have done that i would have just kept cleaning this but we just maybe super buff her or something maybe that'll come down the line but we need to get her out of epic status into at least that's the source status um it'd be nice for her to go to your status i uh, would have problems with that do two retrofits do one event have a retrofit for to get her to ssr then soon after have another retrofit the same that they did for war spite uh now they were they were of course started out as ssr but um and then took them to your through their retrofit but uh have something like that if you want to put an item in there uh, like they did for Jiu-Jitsu where they're putting in that barbecue sauce I believe it is <laughs> in there to make her uh, I would not have a problem with them doing that for uh, Elizabeth as well we'll have to see uh, but yeah that would be something to look at but in terms of actual um, usefulness of the ships uh, they're not bad ships uh, much needed ships for the Royal Navy um, so we'll have to see how that plays out uh, in the end but yeah Vanguard she's a pretty good ship uh, so we'll have to see exactly how it pans out. But uh, uh, anyway, for me, it's uh, just doing the cleanup right now. I'm going to have to start bucking away. I've got a lot of oil saved up. As you can see, I've got a lot of oil saved up. So I will be able to max, 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 max. Because I'm already going to have to start filling up. You can see my oil is already starting to be depressed. But I've got a lot to uh, uh, a lot to run. And just basically uh, you know, keep on farming until we get to uh, the requisite between, you know, uh, for me, between 35 and 40. Uh, if you don't get Jarvis, then you might want to consider going all the way up to 50. Uh, just to be on this set, so you can get the control table. All right? Uh, so, again, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Remember to subscribe. Once you've subscribed, you'll see the bell. Click on it. You'll be notified each time I drop a video. Kendra coming at you from the corner. Signing out.